What's up, friends? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got my little kitty back here with me today. She's hogging all of the chair. Yes, you. <laughs> but I am excited to jump in and do some <clears throat> training with you guys today. What I really want to be talking to you guys about. So this live is definitely going to be for people that are brand new at, um, I mean, starting your own business, but specifically more of like the network marketing, um, anything like that. This is, this is going to be a, a full training for brand new people. So if any of my brand new pet pros are out there listening to this, make sure you grab a notebook, make sure you grab a pen and take some notes because I'm really excited to give you guys some tips on how to help get you started. So one of the very first things that I really want to talk to you guys about is so you're brand new, you're fresh out of the gate, you have no idea what's going on. So I really want you guys to be coachable. This is one of the very big things that you can tell between people that are successful and people that aren't. So you and this sometimes might not come naturally to people. But you really want to be coachable. You know, what does that mean? You're probably like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Please help me out. All right. So be, things like this, like listening to um, people that have more experience than you. So things of like, okay, whoever your sponsor is, getting with them and listening to what the things that they're telling you to do. Um, if they say, go watch this uh, home office live, carve out some time to make sure you go and do that. If your um, sponsor is telling you to, okay, get me a list of people so we can talk to them together, go and do the things that your sponsor is telling you to do. So just being really coachable um, and, <coughs> sorry, I'm still sick, um, just kind of being coachable and doing things that you're your sponsor is telling you to do. They have been through it. I know for like Alex and I, we did a lot of things. Like we've been in Pottery for five and a half years now. So we definitely did things uh, the wrong way. And <laughs> we have figured out systems that really, really help to get you launched, to help you get started in the easiest way possible. Because we, your sponsor, Alex and I, we really want you guys to be very successful, have, um, see like results fast. So those are the things that we really uh, are trying to help you guys to do. But you being coachable is going to help that process. It's going to help all of you guys or help you just, just trust me on that. <laughs> First step on being coachable. Next thing I want you guys to really be focusing on when you're starting something new, especially uh, is you really want to plan out when you're going to work. Plan, like be specific. So you are wanting something new, right? You're like, something's got to change. I have to do things differently, whether it's I need to make an extra income to, eat, to get the, because um, in case you guys don't know, you need to be making an extra, I think it's like around $400 per month, like three to an extra three to $400 per month this year, every month this year, just to live the same life you did last year. So if you're like, okay, I need to make that extra three to four to $500 per month, just so I can have some breathing room. Maybe it's, I really want to have that community or I just need to pay for my daughter's dance lessons. Like whatever those things are, you really like something's got to change, right? That's what a lot, that's why a lot of you guys will jump into network marketing. So your life is also going to have to change. You can't still just be working your nine to five and just imagine that, you know, order people are going to just drop them the sky. That's not really how it happens. That's how we want it to happen. But that's something that comes in time. So you really want to be strategic. And even me, Alex and I, we just redid our calendar. We even have to be, even leaders have to figure out when am I going to work? like focused time on your network marketing business. So boom, we got our little time blocking thing out. And I said, okay, here are times that it's non-negotiable. I know I'm not going to be working or I'm not going to be uh, working my business from eight to 11 because I'm actually like Alex and I work out every single morning. 
that is a non-negotiable. Uh, like I'm not motivated to work out at all, but I am diligent and I'm dedicated. Um, and that's just, that's just the way it is. So going through and kind of marking out some of the times that, you know, okay, I work nine to five and I can't do anything for my business during that time. All right, mark that off. But if you know that when you come home or if it's, um, maybe an hour before you go to bed, or maybe it's getting up a slight, like half an hour early. So you can actually, so you can dedicate some time, like being very dedicated and because that's really what you guys really need to do is figure out I am dedicated to working this business, like jumping in with all four paws. <laughs> that's a lot of what we say here at Pottery. Um, but just jumping into whatever that network marketing company is that you're doing, like really jump into it and not just being like, well, I'm just going to, you know, dabble in this and we're, we'll just kind of see where it goes. I can tell you where it's going to go. It's not going to go anywhere. Like if you are learning something new, you have to put in the time and the effort. If you're going to say you want to get a college degree, you can't just be like, well, I might just show up to some of the classes when I feel like it. And then hopefully I just get my bachelor's. Like, no, you have to show up to the classes. You have to do the homework. You have to take the tests. You have to study. You have to be doing those things. Um, a new skill, even though, yes, I know how to ride a bike. I technically know how to ride a bike, but I didn't know how to ride a bike that you actually have to shift <laughs> like gears and things like that. I didn't know how to do any of that kind of stuff. So recently I had to learn how to do that. And that comes with practice. That's taking somebody Alex that knows how to do it and having him show me how to do it. Now, I kind of had to tell him, like, this is how you need to teach me because he just knew how to do things. So I had to be a coachable person to learn from him. But I also had to be like, hey, when we're if you're going to shift, yell back to me, like shift up, shift down, do this with your thumb. Like I had to tell him, like, this is how I want to this. Is how I need to be. this is how I need to be told how to do this. So uh, planning out when you're going to work, putting in the effort and the time, you're, you're learning something new. A lot of times, um, even if you've, ha uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you've had network marketing experience, maybe the, your new company is doing something different. I know from my old company, I had to really get rid of a lot of bad habits. I had to get rid of a lot of the ways that I did things and learn something new. And over the last five years, Alex and I come up with very different systems. I use social media completely differently than I did in my old network marketing company. And we definitely do things a lot differently. So things evolve and they change and you have to learn how to do those things. But we, uh, like something that we, Alex and I are going to be doing is we're going to be starting a podcast. Okay, well, we needed to carve out time right here. Boom, podcast. We had to carve out time on because we've actually, we've had a podcast, we have a lot of posts on there, but we haven't done anything for nine, 10 months because we weren't carving out the time to dedicate to the podcast. So it was the same thing when you're brand new in network marketing and you, you have to say, I'm going to work, maybe it's two hours on a Saturday because you work nine to five during the week. Maybe it's, um, okay, I, I don't usually want to work on a Sunday, but for right now, I need to work on Sundays or just in a couple of hours. Because I know when I first started, I was not doing 40 hours a week. Right now, I don't do 40 hours a week on Pawtree. But in the beginning, okay, I can only work two hours a week on your network marketing company. That's all you can dedicate. Cool. Be very diligent with those two hours that you can work per week. And I guarantee that you will be farther along than when people are just like, well, I'm going to I feel like working on it now. So I'll do it. You know, like if you wait till you feel like working your business, you're not going to do it. Like if I waited till I felt like I, I wanted to work out, I would never work out like no, <laughs> that's just not how it works. So that's my tip too, is to really plan out, be strategic, have the conversations with your, your family to say, hey guys, I don't want to have to work so much at my nine to five or at, at my job. I just don't want to have to work 60 hours a week. I would rather be home with you guys. But right now I have to dedicate some time to this new business I'm starting.
So they understand where you're coming from. They understand that I need to focus on this. I have to say no to some things now so that I get to say yes later. That I get to say, yeah, I can go watch your soccer practice. And and that's actually a good, it just kind of popped in my head. If you have kids that are in practices and things like that, if you have to go and watch the practices, I know there's different times, or maybe you can go and drop the kids off at their practice and you go back into the car and that's when you have your half an hour or your hour that you can work your business. And you can definitely ask your sponsor like, hey, I have one hour while well, my kid's at soccer and they're just practicing. I don't need to watch it. It's okay. They're just doing drills. But what should I be doing during that time? Ask your sponsor because they will be able to help you with tasks and what to do during that time. And if you're in Pawtree and you're in the five-star team page, we actually have a list of things for you guys to go do. But ask your sponsor. They can tag you in that. Uh, tip number three that I have is go through the trainings. <laughs> I know, shocker, but carving out like, yes, we want you to be doing income producing activities. So things like starting conversations with people, reaching out to them, putting um, people that you're talking to that are interested in your product or your service in three-way chats with your sponsor, doing those income producing activities. But we want you to also be doing the trainings. If you're brand new to Pawtree, you're on our team, go to the five-star team page and go, I like, as soon as you jump in, go through trainings um, because there's things that we really want you to do to help you launch your business right from the get go. Like as soon as you sign up, we have posts that you could be making. Um, I know for our like our guide one, it only takes like 20 minutes to get through it. It's really not that bad. So I really encourage you guys to be going through the trainings. Um, so Again, OS guide one, guide two, getting into Pawtree University. So whatever your network marketing company has, like getting into those trainings. If there's um, other leaders that are doing trainings that you can go watch, like Facebook Lives, just like this, be watching those while you can. If you're driving, you can put your phone down, you know, before you leave, obviously be safe. <laughs> but OK, I'm going to go and um, I'm just going to put on a training from Pawtree. So here you go. You can just go to Pawtree University. You can put on one of the trainings. Uh, maybe it's just listening to some of the guides. But if, if you're going to be listening to music anyway, you might as well turn one of these on, put it down and drive to wherever you're going. You can if you're dedicated, you can find time that while you're doing other things, you can be listening to stuff. I mean, even if your kids are crazy at home, just go go to the bathroom and listen to a two minute training that's in our guides in our five star team page. So there's there's times and places that you can shove these things in. I promise you, because I had to do them. I did them. <laughs> I had to do all of these things when I because when I started, I was uh, let's see, I was working my nine to five. Uh, Alex and I had a business that we were building, a huge business that we were building that took up a ton of my time. We, I was, um, we were getting ready to be bit like selling. I think I had already, let's see, we got married and then it was October. Yeah. I was getting like, I didn't know it at the time, but I was getting ready to sell my house, buy property and build a house. I was going to, I was getting ready to go to school for dog training. Like I was busy. I had, and I was already doing another network marketing company. So like, I understand the, I'm really busy. But again, I knew that this could build me a life that I didn't hate. <laughs> like it could build me a life because for me, I like to move away from things that I don't like. So if I don't want this kind of life, I'm going to go do these things because I don't want that kind of life instead of being like, I want this life. So people, there's some different things there, but Sorry, little tangent. <laughs> They'll be alive for a different time. But um, so I was really, really busy, but I had to be specific on, OK, when I come home, I've got an hour before we go to the gym. So that I'm going to work my business or I mean, even if it was like, OK, we get back from the gym. I'm going to sit down on the couch while Alex is watching TV and I'm going to be listening to a trainee with my earbuds in. So I'm still having like I'm still there with him but I'm getting the trainings. I'm still being able to take the notes and do those types of things. 
So getting in, sorry, the eagle distractions, um, getting in, doing the trainings and um, really just diving into those types of things. So there's trainings that we have in our five star team page, but there's also trainings um, straight from Pawtree. There's a whole Pawtree University there. You can dive way into that. There's a lot of stuff in there. But taking the things in bite-sized pieces, still doing income act, income producing activities. We, you're here to make an extra income so you can build a life that you love, but also getting making sure that you're going through the trainings. I know one thing that really stops people is I have to know everything before I can do anything, or I have to see a result before I do anything. And that's not necessarily true. Like, yes, we want you to be trying products. One of the cool things is, is you can say, hey, my dog sheds a ton and this stuff is supposed to stop that. So come along the journey with me and see, does this product really work? People are going to watch you. People are going to watch your stories. They're going to watch your um, posts. They're going to watch your lives. They're going to want you. They're going to want to follow that journey along with you. Um, oh, hey, Deb and Adrian. Didn't see you guys there. I was on my banners versus my my comments. But um, so you don't feel like you have to have a result or that you have to see like or even try a product. You can literally be like, hey, I'm trying this for the very first time. I mean, you would watch things like that. I'm assuming if somebody was like, my dog has this issue. And if you're like, my dog has that issue, too. What is she going to use? And then you're gonna be like, OK, I'm going to follow along and see if this works. And then you're going to be more invested. Like your, your people watching your stuff is going to be more invested because they want to know, is this going to work? I'm going to make, I'm going to need to make sure that I'm like, te- like follow her journey because my dog's having the same issue and I want to see if that works. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope that gives you guys some tips on when you're brand new, just get started, get in, hit the ground running and really just listen to your sponsor. And if, you know, if you aren't getting the things that you are for, like right from your sponsor, go to the next person up. We have teams of leaders that would always be willing to help you out. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Share this with a uh, new pet pro or somebody else that has just joined some network uh, network marketing company. I'd love to share with them some tips on what I wish I would have known when I first got started. So I hope this helps you guys and I'll talk to you soon.